So we are given two blocks, men's 12 kg and 10 kg. We connect by a lightweight screen and it's resting on a smooth table. So the table is smooth. Then we understood there will be no frictions. A horizontal pulling force of 40 newtons is applied to the 10 kg as shown in figure 3.16. So means that I'm, I'm pulling the 10 kg with a force of 40 newton. Alright, so sketch the free body diagram for each block and calculate the acceleration of each block. So we start with the first question. We are going to sketch the FPD for each block. So I sketch the FPD for 12 kg first. Okay, so we can represent the mass with a dot. So obviously we have a string. The 12 kg is attached to a string on the right hand side. So we have tension. I label it as T. And then since uh, the block have mass, for, its, for sure it have weight downwards. I denote by W1. I treat this one as M1. And then it's put on a table so it have normal force upwards. So and one as well. Okay. So this will be the FPD for object 12 kg. Then for the object 10 kg, I put it this side. So again I represent it with a dot. So for 10 kg, for 10 kg you can see very obviously on the left side. It was attached to 12 kg with a string. So I'm going to have the tension T. Okay. I can label the same with same symbol because uh, the string is the same in between 12 kg and 10 kg. Okay. Then again it have weight straight downwards. W2 and then uh, normal force acting upward. So I label it as N2. Then you don't forget on the right side, on the right side of the 10 kg, we have an applied force of 40 Newton. So I have an applied force of 40 Newton. Okay, so this will be the forces acting and there will be no frictions. You no need to draw frictions because the surface is smooth. The surface is smooth. There will be no friction acting on both of the objects. So, so, second question, I'm going to calculate the accelerations of each block. So, since I want to determine acceleration, I understood I'm going to apply Newton's second law. Summation force equal to MA. Okay, so, um, I still following the step in order to solve the question using Newton's second law. So after I draw my FPD, then I might identify my axis. I choose my axis. So I let the horizontal as my x axis, vertical as my y axis. Same score for the second FPD. Okay, so this will be my x axis. This will be my y axis. So I can see all very obviously uh, all of my forces lie on the x axis and also y axis. So I no need to do any resolving forces. Okay, I no need to do any resolving forces. So I can uh, proceed to the fourth step. I'm going to write down the Newton's law equations. So I'm going to apply Newton's second law. So we always understood that um, the directions of acceleration is in the direction of our net force. So logically, when we apply a pulling force to the right, so in logical thinking, the two block will accelerate rightward machine. So they are going to accelerate rightward. So I predict, I predict that the acceleration of the two block is towards right. So I predict the direction of acceleration is to the right. Okay, so I predict the direction of accelerations for both objects is to the right. Then I'm going to write down my Newton's equations. 
whereby I always take the force in the directions of A minus with the force opposite to A equating to MA. I will treat the directions of A as positive. So I am going to have summation of force along the x axis equal to MA. So consider this one, the x directions. I'm going to have tension. The only force acting along the x directions is tension equal to the mass. The mass is 12 kg A. I put this one as equation 1 because I cannot solve it because I didn't... Uh, I have two unknown. The tension is unknown. The acceleration is unknown. Then I move on to the second FPD for 10 kg. Again, the 10 kg I also accelerate along the x axis. So I'm going to have summation of force along x axis equal to MA. So refer to the figure focus on the x axis. You can see very obviously. 40 Newton is the force that in the directions of A and the tension is opposite to the directions of A. So I'm going to have 40 minus T equal to the mass of the object is 10 kg. Then acceleration is A. So I'll get my second equation. Okay? Then I'll try to put equation 1 into 2. Then I'm going to have 40 minus 12A equal to 10A. Then I'll get my accelerations will equal to 1.81 meter per second. Then I solve the questions.